Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will round to find the sum. We are going to find the sum of 174 plus 238. Now, in order to do that more quickly, we're gonna round to the tens place, which means we're only gonna be looking at 74 since we're working with tens. Now, if we had 74 on a number line, the two tens on each side would be 70 and 80. And we know that halfway would be 75. So 74 would be before that. So is it closer to 70 or 80? It's a lot closer to 70, so we're gonna go ahead and write 70. But it's not just 70, it's 170 because of the one in the hundreds place. Now we need to round 238, but we're only looking at the 38 because we're working with our tens. So if we have 38 on our number line, the two tens that we have around 38 are 30 and 40. And halfway would be 35. Now 38 would be after 35. So is 38 closer to 30 or 40? It's closer to 40, so we have to write that down. But it's actually 240 because of the two in the hundreds place. And now let's go ahead and quickly add. Now we need to round the number 174 to the hundreds place. So we're looking at the hundreds and on. We have 174. If we make a number line with 174 on it, the two hundreds that would be around it would be 100 on one side and 200 on the other. We know halfway would be 150. 174 would be after 150. So is it closer to 100 or is it closer to 200? We know it's closer to 200, so we just write down 200. Now we need to round the number 238. And now if we're putting that on a number line, we know that the hundreds around 238 are 200 on one side and 300 on the other. Halfway would be 250. 238 would be before 250. So is it closer to 200 or 300? It's closer to 200. 200 plus 200 is 400. Now let's check if our rounding was reasonable by adding the standard way. 8 plus 4 is 12, 7 plus 1 plus 3 is 11, and 2 plus 2 is 4, 412. Now I want you to take a look at the sums. When you round to the tenths place, it's more accurate and closer to the actual answer. Why do you think that is? 